Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. This is PJ. Today, I would like to talk about this really interesting form and how do you get on this surface and apply the wire construction on it. Hopefully, that can help you on your design, whether it's in jewelry, architecture, or sculpture. Are you ready? Let's get started. So to creating this surface, let me hide in this one first. You can see that on this view, we have the curve going this way, but on the other view, the curve is going down this way, right? And then so we have like completely two opposite direction right there. So we need to draw a curve to go with it. So let's turn this off. So I'm coming into my top view and um, since I'm not gonna print this out, so it can be any size. So I'm going to draw something look like this. All right, and remember this is a degree two curve. So we need to, if we try to edit, for example, try to pull it and um, like pick up those two points and try to pick it up, then you're going to get something like really pointed there and it doesn't look good, right? So we need to rebuild this. So let's rebuild this curve into a degree three and we can stay with the same point. We just need to change the degree into three. So it will be able to go two direction. So if I pull up this one and I pick up this one, kind of wanna pull it down, then you will get something like this. Okay, on the top, you can uh, turn on the control point and on the top, you can kind of like go in like this, uh, if that were better for you. You can also turn on the control point on the bottom two to grab them in a little bit and to define the shape that you like and make it longer or shorter is up to you. All right, so now we have this shape here. We need to kind of building a bridge there. So we are going to use the arc tool, start and point on the arc and snapping into the quadrant and quadrant and coming up uh, whatever, how high that you want it to be. Now, notice that if I zoom in, are you going to see this arc we are drawing? It's coming out. So I do not want it to have uh, the folding over there. So I can try to scale this, but as you can see that it have the two kink right here and right here. All right, so the reason you have a two kink is because it's a degree two curve. So we want to turn it into the degree three. Uh, so let's go ahead to rebuild it. And so make sure that here the degree is three. We don't need a lot of points, so uh, five points, fine. And let's click OK. And then so now we can scale it down, 1D scale with the point, and you can see it's not overlapping there. All right, so now we have this. Let's take a look on the perspective. All right, we need another one going into opposite direction. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna using this arc, snapping here, here, and coming back here. Again, we wanna rebuild this one and with the same point, five and a three, degree three, five point. And we can simply just bring it back like this, all right? Um, then you want to take a look on the form and see if you like it, if you want to do additional editing here. For this demonstration, I'm going to stop it here. Now we have this curve is a closed curve, and the other two is open curve. So we want to do the curve network. We need to make sure everybody's the same, either closed or open. So this one is going to be split by this guy. So with the split command, we got this curve and this curve. So we got four curve total. Now let's go ahead to use the uh, surface tool. We have curve network and we select everybody. Then we'll get this surface here. Okay, now as you can see, there are so many ISO curve right there. If we extract this, this is gonna be too many curve. Uh, unless this is the purpose that you want. I would like to do is to hide in our original curve first so it's not confusing later on after we extract. So I'm going to hide in all this curve and we're simply just going to rebuild. All right, so for the rebuild, you want to keep it into the odd number because you do want to have one right in the center, right? So there's a one right in the center. I'm going to reduce to 25 and 11 and let's click OK. And let me take a look 
And if that look nice to you, we're just kind of coming into the curve, curve from the object, you have extract wireframe. And then you pick up this surface and you hit enter, right? So now we have all the uh, wire is extracted and we can simply just pipe it. So let's give it a try. We're going to pipe and try 0.3 as a radius. And it will get something like this. Now I'm going to move the curve on the side just for the comparison. If you take a look on the render view, you're going to see this is really sharp edges when they uh, connect to each other, right? So if you are in Rhino 7, you do have another option for Sati. So coming into the Sati tool that you have the one, it's called Sati Multipipe. So again, very simple. We're going to pick up everybody using exact same diameter. The end cap uh, we want to on. We want a smoothness from Z, uh, 0 to 1. 0 is the smoothest. We want to uh, stay with the 0. And then this is our uh, surface now. So let's take a look on the render view. You can see the connection is nice. Um, and then uh, it's rounded compared to this one. All right, so that is for the tutorial today. If you like the way I model, check out the membership program. I have a lot more video and the trick and tips I wanted to show you building different 3D models. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next.